okay it is now november and pretty soon everything is going to die outside so a few days ago we had freeze in the evening so i quickly came out and chopped my basil plant back and cut it all off and use what I could. This is the plant right here. And because I want to grow some more of these during the winter time inside, we are going to grow some of these in hydroponics. So I have already cut one branch off and then I placed it in water and now it has rooted. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is grow them into in, a, in our hydroponic setup. And then we're going to keep multiplying them by propagating them and get a bunch of basil for the winter so um let's go ahead and go look at the propagated branch and then we'll begin the process okay so here is my propagated basil branch you see there are roots in there i didn't do anything uh extra all i did was cut the branch and um place the branch in water this is just plain water and then i set it right next to um my other plants under these grow lights and then it sprouted roots right here look at that and that's all you do basil are really easy you don't have to do anything extra just put the branch in water and uh, put it under lights or you can even put it outside if it's warm it's guaranteed to root okay so uh from these uh few um, branches here we're going to allow them to grow in our hydroponic setup and then we're going to keep propagating as they grow and then we're going to get a bunch for the winter so um let's go ahead and we'll begin the the hydroponic mix and all that stuff okay so uh, after the frost that we had the temperature actually warmed up and the plant is still alive so we have some new shoots here actually not new shoot but it was still growing so today we're going to speed things up by also propagating these as well so i'm going to cut these off here put it in a container of water just that little container right there and then i'll just let it sit until they root and then we'll start that into a new setup and then we'll, we'll grow a bunch of them so let me go ahead and cut this off right now okay so this is just water right from the faucet in the garden so uh we're gonna cut the branches off and then i'm gonna clear a lot of these bottom layer right here some of the top okay we have a few some of these may not sprout roots so uh get a few and then you don't waste time so uh we'll see what we get from these okay here we are today we are going to transplant this into this and begin to grow it and uh look at all of the roots guys usually i would not wait this long but um i've been neglecting this and i just left it in water all this time and it doesn't really matter as long as there's water it will grow but just water alone it won't grow very well or very fast and so it could have yellow leaves and all that stuff and you can just pluck those off and then once you put them into nutrients it's going to change and it's going to look much better okay so this here is a i think a two gallons let's just say it's two gallons so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this out and then here's look at the roots that's how easy it is to propagate basil okay so um we are going to put it into a rockwood queue like so that's a lot of roots guys okay and then this is a old container that I have been reusing and so we're going to feed the roots down into here see I cut that hole right there okay and you just work the roots in here so make sure it all come down to here there are so many roots and they're pretty easy so uh, if you damage a few roots that's fine okay and so it's sitting like that in here and so what i'm going to do now is in order for me to keep it standing i could put another rock wool cube if i want to but i have this these are the hydrogen i'm just going to put it in there see like so and then it'll help uh, the rock will stand up i'm gonna put all over the top 
it's to keep the rock wool standing sturdy but also it will help prevent algae from growing on top okay so we're going to put it in here like this now we are going to add our nutrients so usually what i would do is five milliliter per gallon of water so since this is two gallons we're going to use two of this this is five milliliter so that'd be 10 milliliter that's one that's two all right, so now we are going to fill the water up. If you do it this way, it mixes in the nutrients for you. Okay, so you fill it until it reaches the bottom of the net cup. And because the, uh, the roots came out of com water submerged completely, so you can apply the same method, submerge it completely, and it should be fine. So there we are, and I'm gonna close this up. And we are all set, so let's put this under a light and then just wait for it to grow. Okay, here we are. Everything is ready to go and there is my grow light. I am using the Spider Pharma SF4000, but you don't need anything that powerful. You can get anything that's like 100 watts and it should be good. So put it right on top of the plant and you're all set. Basils are so easy. And then behind it, look at these. These are the ones that I'm propagating, that one as well. And I even tried the large branch. You see, these, these are like the hardwood um, uh, branch. And because they're so easy, it doesn't matter if you cut a young branch or an older branch. I'm going to show you, they all will work. So with these here, once they're ready, I'm going to plant them the exact same way. And then once these get bigger, I'll cut them and I'll plant them again and then you get a continuous supply of basil forever and ever okay so we will be back soon <laughs> okay it has been 12 days now and look at the progress on the basil this one is growing really nicely and it started to sprout out some flowers so if you see flowers on basil always take them off so just remove the flowers that way uh, the plant can focus on growing and so as if you keep doing that just remove all of the flowers then you will get a lot, a lot of leaves, okay? So that is the main plant that we place in the hydroponic system. And then for the, um, the ones that we are propagating, look at this. See, these are the ones that we just cut branches off and then we just placed it in plain water and now they are ready to be planted. And so, as I mentioned, it does not matter this, the, the age of the branch, they all will, will will propagate just fine. See how old this one is? Look at all the roots in there. And so that one's going to be planted and it's going to be a pretty good uh, older branch. It's going to produce pretty strong leaves. And then some of these here, look at this. See, those are propagated. And then we have some here. And look at that, the roots have grown. So those can be grown uh, into their own hydroponic system so today we are going to add a few more systems and i'm going to show you how uh, we create the the system it's it's very it's going to be very similar to this and uh, it's going to be a, a non-circulating method so uh, it'll just be um, nutrients and water and that's it so let's go ahead and, and make our new system and then we'll put some of these in there and let them grow and you see with these here once this grows a little bit more you can cut the branch and place it into a container like any of these and then they will root and then once they root you can start that over again perpetually so you can do that for a long time and get basil forever and ever okay today we are going to turn this coffee container into a hydroponic setup and we have a 51 millimeter hole saw right here and uh, we're gonna drill a hole into here and this lid has you see the little dot right there so that's a good indicator that it that is the center so you can just put this right on top like that and have the drill go forward okay and so now it created the hole you can turn the drill go the other way
See, going backward is easier to create the hole like this. It's less strain on your wrist. And there is a hole right here. And that will fit a two inch net cup. Now we are all ready to go. So I'll add nutrients to here and then we'll add the basil plant to this. Okay, so I added the nutrients first, five milliliter. And then I spray water into there, mix everything up. And now I just want the, uh, the water level to touch the net cup at the bottom. See, that's, that's a good amount right here. And then we're gonna use this same method. Cut a rock wool like this. And then we're going to take our basil that we propagated. And then just place it into here. For the, the roots at the top, we may not need it, but we'll just leave it. And now we just put this in here like so. And there you have it. So now we have another plant ready to go. So I'll put this into my system. So now we have another one ready to go. And then these here, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. And also with these, I may put them into a five gallon container uh, with the, uh, the hydroponic system as well. And then we'll have a lot more basil to, uh, to work with. So um, in the next video or update, you may see more plants ready to go. So uh, we'll check back soon. <laughs> okay, I actually found a lid for my five gallon bucket that I've been using. So this has been used many, many times. And so it's the same method. You drill a hole in the middle, you put the net cup in and you add your basil plant. So this works for pretty much any type of plant. So this system has been used for cabbages, cauliflowers, uh, kohlrabi, radishes, and all that stuff. And so, yeah, so we have a, a bunch now. And even with this big one here, you can actually put more, like if you're propagating, put a bunch of them right there. And so those are the plans right here. So uh, we will be back soon to check on these. Okay, welcome back. We are now on day number 21. And man, these basil are looking beautiful. And so these are the ones that we have in the system. That one is the initial one right there. And look how much it's grown. The leaves are really, really large. And man, they smell so good in here. And now you see these branches are getting bigger. And once they get bigger, you use some of the bigger leaves and then you cut the branch back and then you start to do the same thing all over again. Just put them in a cup or a bottle or anything you have. And then you like, look at that. It, it will start to grow roots. Guarantee the basil are so easy. Just cut a branch. It doesn't matter what age the branch is. Remember this one here? It was a super old branch. Look at that. It's very, very, very woody and that worked. These are also very woody and they work. These are the younger ones. They work. This one was bought from the store. That worked. This one was cut from outside. That worked. And so um, guarantee if you're having problems growing any type of plants in hydroponic, try Thai basil or any type of basil. Guarantee success. You don't need to know how to mix nutrients. As, a, as you saw in the video, all I did was water and nutrients. Five milliliter of, di of um, my grow series, which is this here, the Dyna Grow per gallon of water, mix it up, N no need to adjust pH, none of those, and this is what you get. And so it's like a perpetual supply of basil if you keep doing, um, you know, propagation like this, you see? In, in very short time, you have basil to use, and these grow so fast, like in just a matter of days, you have large leaves that you can use. So I will be using these very soon to make some of the pho noodle soup, and those are just, you, can, you cannot have pho without these. And then these will grow. I would harvest some as well. And I can even cut it back and then it will grow right back. These here, you see, they're just grown in just, I chopped the, the, the bottle in half and I just placed them in here. I've been adding nutrients to here because I didn't know where to, you know, what to do with them because I don't, I don't need all of this. I just wanted to do it to show you that that's very easy to do. Same thing with this. I just mixed um, some nutrients into a bottle like this, shake it up, and then I, I pour it into here, and I left it like that. And amazingly, guys, look at that. There's no algae at all. 
pretty interesting. Um, same with this. It could be because uh, of the bottles or something like that. But uh, for these, no algae so far, which is very amazing. But um, yeah, everything is growing great. So try it out. I guarantee you will have success. If you have never done hydroponic before, you could still do it. Um, it's very, very simple. It's very re rewarding. And you will have basil all year long if you want to or all winter long like what i'm gonna have so that's it guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe okay welcome back i just wanted to add something extra to the end of the video this is now 30 days and man the basil are looking so good look at these growing really really well look at the size of these leaves guys they're very beautiful and they feel very succulent so nice and so yeah in 30 days you can get all of these basil and then as i mentioned before you can cut these now and then propagate them again and again and again and you have just unlimited not even kidding unlimited amount of basil so keep cutting them keep propagating them you don't even need a real system to grow them just put them in here feed them hydroponic solution in a regular water bottle just like that and they will grow so there it is guys 30 days